Now I'm gonna sear the pork chops just to give them more flavor and then the little brown bits at the bottom of the pan are really gonna flavor the sauce. But in order to do that, I wanna start with a hot pan. There we go, you can start to hear a little sizzle. So we're gonna let those cook. Just a few minutes on each side, about four minutes. And then we're gonna finish cooking in the sauce. And that sauce is what's gonna keep the pork chops really tender. And I'm just gonna start with my shallots and my fennel, which is sort of the base of this sauce. Slice up the fennel. Cut up the fronds as well. Just chop them up, and very similar to an herb. Now, time to take the pork chops off. We're just gonna put them back on the platter where they came. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil. And add all the shallots and the fennel all together. I'm gonna lower the heat just a little bit to about medium and add a little bit of salt. And the salt will bring out the natural juices, the natural sort of liquid in the fennel and in the shallot. All right, we're gonna let that cook for another minute and I'm gonna add some parsley. It's time for a nice kick of flavor from the white wine. And that's about a half a cup. Now, the white wine's gonna sort of just pick up all of the little brown bits from searing the meat, and that is what's gonna give the sauce tons of flavor. Just use the liquid from the wine to scrape up all those little bits. Mmm, smells so good. Now, I'm using some canned tomatoes because it'll give the sauce some body, which I love. And I'm just using some chopped tomatoes because it's only gonna cook another 10 to 15 minutes, so whole tomatoes wouldn't have enough time to sort of break down. This will just make the cooking process a lot quicker. We're gonna add the pork chops back into the sauce. Nestle them in between the fennel and the tomatoes. Kind of create a little bed. And it'll keep them nice and moist. Now these are gonna cook another 10 to 15 minutes just until the pork is cooked through and the fennel is nice and tender. Now all I have to do is finish the sauce. Now it's a rustic trattoria recipe, so you can just add the rest of the ingredients right on top. A couple tablespoons of capers, then lemon zest. And I know this might sound a little strange, like why would I be adding lemon zest on top of the pork chops? Well, the lemon zest sort of brightens up all the flavors. It wakes up the fennel, the tomatoes, and it actually wakes up your taste buds on your tongue as well. Just zest half a lemon right on top. You can smell it. That fresh, clean flavor. Right on top, get all of that out. And more parsley. Just give it a quick little mix. Oh, smells good. Perfect amount of sauce. Okay, now, ready to serve it. I'm just gonna lift the pan and make this easy on myself. Does that not look great?